Hey everyone, welcome to another Clean Machine Live. Uh, thank you for joining us on Amazon Live, Facebook Live, and this recording will be living on YouTube at Clean Machine Online as well. So you can watch re repeats there. You can share from there too as well. So I am Jeff Palmer, the CEO and founder of Clean Machine, plant-based fitness nutrition. A little disclaimer for you, this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure, or prevent any disease. So today we are going to be talking about collagen. So collagen is a really popular topic right now. Uh, collagen sales are booming. Uh, collagen is one of the top searched items in the entire supplement category. So what's all this to do about collagen? Is it effective? And what does the research and the science say about collagen, specifically animal collagen? Because, well, up until recently, all collagen was only made by animals, including humans. Humans make their own. We make our own collagen. So we make our own collagen from nutrients that we intake. So if we make our own collagen, why are we needing to take additional collagen from a supplement? That's a good question. And the answer may be, we may be not. <laughs> um, but there are some good studies out there, actually solid research showing that people consuming collagen have shown benefits. Now, there's a two parts to that. Uh, one, are you looking at healthy people to begin with? Two, are is their animal-based diet actually a detriment to their own collagen? So you can have collagen degradation. So our own body produces its collagen, but it can be degraded in our body. Now, how does it de get degraded? Now, it's a good question. There's a lot of debate on it. But clearly, we know that antioxidants, especially nutrient antioxidants like vitamin C, can actually support the not only the production of internal uh, collagen, but also the protection of collagen. So you don't have that wearing down, that degradation of our own current collagen. My guess is that if you looked in uh, uh, vegans and vegetarians eating a, mostly a whole food plant-based diet, a healthy with lots of plant nutrients in it, you would actually see that there's much less degradation. So no need to actually try to heal and repair or replace the collagen that our body is producing. So there's a really cool study that just came up. I posted it already in the links below. But if you're watching this on Amazon Live, um, uh, the name of the study just came out March 31st of this year. So it is a very recent study. And I'll, I'll give you the title of the study so you can look it up yourself, or you can go to our page after the Amazon Live and you can see the links and click on the link for yourself. But the name of the study is Combined Effects of Carotenoids, specifically beta carotene in this study, Combined Effects of Carotenoids and Polyphenols in balancing the response of skin cells to UV radiation. Now we know that the sun can damage our, our skin and can age our skin, cause wrinkling, cause uh, degradation to the skin. But what protects the skin? What protects the skin is a couple of things, many different nutrients actually. One of them is beta carotenes. So our body actually takes beta carotenes from plants, dark green plants and any orange plants, and actually soaks them up into the skin. Our body becomes a storage place for beta carotene right in the skin. And why is that? Well, that beta carotene acts as an antioxidant right on the spot. So it's protecting your skin from damage and UV radiation. But then most of the conversion, 70 to 90% of the conversion of vitamin of, of beta carotene to vitamin A, and this in particular case, vitamin A retinol or retinol A, uh, that happens right in the skin. So our bodies are a reservoir for beta carotene. And um, that's why it's actually better to consume the beta carotene than the vitamin A which in too big a doses can actually be toxic and even in extreme cases, be lethal, deadly. 
um, if you are getting it in the preformed source of vitamin A, like what's found in fish oil. So that's where we want to go. We want to get more of that vitamin A beta carotene into our system, let it hold in our skin, protect our skin, and then convert to retinol A to give it that elasticity, that youthful look to it. So, so where did all this collagen come about? <laughs> well, this is pretty interesting because I can picture a room with a bunch of guys at a slaughterhouse or a, or a fish uh, processing place saying, hey, look at all these bones, all these uh, all this cartilage that we're just throwing away, tons and tons of this stuff. How can we get the consumers to buy this? How can we make some money? How can we make profit off all this waste that we're throwing away from slaughterhouses, right? All these cow bones or, or fish bones or fish cartilage or animal cartilage, chicken cartilage. What can, can we make some money off of this? We're just throwing it away. Let's figure out, let's get some scientists together and figure out if there's any health benefits at all, and then go out here and try to sell it to the people. And then we will take all this stuff that we're throwing away and make lots of money on it. Woohoo! <laughs> That's where collagen probably got its start. So what is collagen? Collagen is a protein that is made by all animals that use cartilage or or are or used for their uh, surface of the skin. So collagen is a protein that is a incomplete protein. Actually, those two things that I was talking about, collagen and gelatin, which is in bone marrow, right? This is the other big fad that's going on right now in the supplement industry is bone broth. <laughs> I'm like, really? You pick collagen and bone broth? the two true incomplete proteins <laughs> available. Why on earth would you pick those two proteins out of all of the proteins that are available, all of the plant proteins, actually even all the rest of the animal proteins, which are complete. Both collagen and bone broth or bone marrow gelatin are missing the amino acid tryptophan. And I'm like, of all the proteins that you would pick, the ones missing tryptophan? That's like the worst. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you want to consume that? Tryptophan, for those of you who don't know, converts in our gut through our microbiome to serotonin. Serotonin is our happy neurotransmitter. It's what gives us that feeling of happiness. As a matter of fact, the number one antidepressant drug on the market are called SSRIs serotonin reuptake inhibitors, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So they increase the amount of serotonin. When you consume collagen, you are decreasing the amount of your happiness in your brain. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? So I call it cranky collagen and bad mood bone broth because they're missing the one amino acid in proteins. These are incomplete proteins. Remember, no plant proteins are incomplete. They have all the nine essential amino acids. As a matter of fact, plants are the only <laughs> species on the planet, besides a couple of small bacteria, that actually make essential amino acids. They make all of them, all of them. <laughs> These two proteins, collagen and bone broth, are incomplete because they're missing tryptophan altogether, which is an essential amino acid. Our body needs that amino acid to produce other proteins. So if you ate only collagen and bone broth, you would build zero muscles. Matter of fact, you start losing muscle right away and you start getting really irritable and cranky. And eventually you would die from lack of the essential amino acids if you were consuming collagen and, and bone broth only. So why would you pick these? This is a sales propaganda tool by the, the supplement industry that is backed by the animal industry, which is just trying to get rid of this waste product, something they were throwing in the garbage. And now they got you convinced by sprinkling in a little science that, hey, this may be good for you. No, there's other alternatives that are actually better, and I'm going to prove it. So let's take a look at the actual study. So you can see the study down below just there. Um, but I'll pull it up on the screen just, to, just uh, a little bit here. Let's see if I can get it up on the screen. 
Um, let's see, I'll go to the comments section and then I'll show it here. So this is the study. You can see it down below me. And for those of you on face on uh, Amazon Live, I will uh, read out the uh, results of the study. So the main finding of this study uh, was that the combination of beta carotene and polyphenols inhibited UVB induced release of interleukin-6. Now, what does all that mean? Okay, UVB is the radiation from the sun. This is the harmful radiation, causes sunburn, skin cancers, damaging to the skin, aging of the skin, wrinkling of the skin, the, the removal of elastin and collagen from the body. So this is the damaging effects of sun. Now, we need sun, right? Vitamin D3. This is good to get sun. Getting too much of it without having the proper nutrients in your skin, that beta carotene and polyphenols. Where does beta carotene come from? Plants. Where does polyphenols come from? Only plants. So you are only getting these nutrients from plants. And this is what's protecting the skin. This is what's protecting the degradation, the loss of it. Remember, our body is producing collagen all the time. What happens is when we get too much damaging effects, our body can't keep up with this. That's why those research studies that were showing uh, benefit for taking animal collagen is because people were actually damaging faster than their body could repair it without putting in the protective plant nutrients that would prevent this collagen degradation over time. So to further go on, the study reads, the correlation between the effects of phytonutrients, meaning from plants, only from plants, the correlation between the effects of phytonutrients on the transcription systems, and I'll skip all the, the, <laughs> the language there, NF kappa beta and all that kind of good stuff, is basically saying that these phytonutrients reduce the damaging effects in the skin. And this is easily seen by markers like interleukin-6 or IL-6, which is a cytokine pro-inflammatory marker. That means it can tell there's damage being done to the skin. Um, so that's what we're looking at, is that these phytonutrients, beta carotene, found only in plants, not in animals, uh, foods, uh, and polyphenols found only in plants, not in animal foods. These are our protective devices that prevent the degradation of our collagen so our body doesn't have to produce as much or depend on external supplementation. All you have to do is eat the plants, you'll be good to go. All right, so let's go further because this next study is even more amazing. <laughs> So, of course, I've been vegan for 36 years, and that's one of the things why I have a plant-based nutrition program is because I know the health benefits of this. I know the research behind this. I want you to live your best life. So, of course, I am going to promote plant-based nutrition for everyone because I want the best for you. So when I was out there being vegan, saying, okay, let's go to these trade shows. Let's look at some of these. I found this research group that found something amazing. They actually had a vegan collagen. And I'm like, wait a minute. Collagen is a protein that is only made by animals and humans. We make our own collagen, by the way. So I'm like, how is that possible? How can it be vegan and actual collagen? And look, there's a lot of supplements out there that are vegan that say collagen and they're collagen boosters, which means they help your body produce its own collagen. There's no collagen in the vegan products that are on the market currently. So it's a little deceiving when they say collagen, uh, vegan collagen, that's not. There's no such thing as vegan collagen actually up until just recently. There's a, a company that actually made a vegan collagen. I'm like, how did they do this? So I actually talked to the, the science team. And what they did is they actually took uh, microbes, microorganisms, and altered their DNA, basically, to produce human collagen, the identical collagen that is found in our bodies, not animal collagen, which is different, different structures right? Not fish, not chicken, uh, not bovine, human collagen. So they got these little microbes to actually create human collagen. And it's vegan because there's no animals involved. 
unless you call the bacteria or the, the little um, plant microbes. Um, that So it was actually technically a vegan true collagen. Now, I want to show you the results of their study because this is pretty amazing. <laughs> so here's the, here's the results of the first study. I'm putting it up on the screen. So for those of you at Amazon, uh, I will talk about the actual results of the study. So they showed this human collagen, this human type 1 collagen, which is kind of the precursor to type 2 and type 3 uh, collagens. So your body can take it and turn it into the other forms of collagens, which is pretty cool. Um, the human collagen far outperformed all of the rest of the animal collagens that they tested. Well, of course, makes sense. It's identical to what we actually have in our bodies. So there you see the results, the graph. This is the human collagen outperforming all the animal collagen on the market. So very good. But what about elastin? So here's the next slide way outperformed elastin. Elastin and collagen are the two main nutrients that our body produces, two main proteins, basically, that our body produces that help the skin have that elasticity, flexibility, lack of uh, uh, wrinkling, and things like this. So this human collagen blew away elastin uh, production in the body when you are talking about all of the other animal sources. So this human collagen far superior to all of the animal sources of collagen and far superior in its um, expression or, or creation of the body's elastin. Well, this sounds pretty cool. It's vegan. It's genetically, the, the organism is genetically modified, although the protein itself is not. So technically the product is non-GMO and it is vegan and it is real human collagen. I was like, wow, this is pretty exciting. Until <laughs> now, <laughs> here's the next study. So then they studied against, they put it head to head, right? This human collagen beating all of the animal collagen head to head against vitamin C. Where does vitamin C come from? Plants, right? <laughs> Human beings cannot make our own vitamin C. Actually, if we don't consume vitamin C, we get a disease called scurvy. Our teeth start falling out and everything like this. Not, not and our hair falls out too. Not really a, a good uh, idea. Um, so vitamin C head to head with the human collagen, better than all the animal collagens. And vitamin C was just as effective at increasing the amount of collagen in the human body. Good old vitamin C. <laughs> I'm like, what? If that wasn't enough, I said, well, what about the elastin compared to vitamin C? And vitamin C outperformed human collagen. Remember, human collagen blew away all the animal collagen. So vitamin C is more effective at increasing both collagen and elastin than human collagen or even all of the animal collagens. Look at all vitamin C. <laughs> and I'm like, and I just showed you a study showing not only does that vitamin C boost the production of elastin and collagen better than all of the collagen that's out on the market, you've got beta carotenes and polyphenols also in plants, which are protecting against loss. You combine that with loss. As a matter of fact, you can see the retinol in here increased uh, on this slide, which is the lower bar, did increase 10% over control and uh, in collagen, 17% over control. So just the beta carotene alone was increasing um, uh, when it uh, converts to retinol, which is a, a vitamin A, the beta carotene converts to it in your skin, is actually boosting it even more. So vitamin C with beta carotene actually would boost <laughs> your retinol, uh, your, your um, uh, collagen and your elastin more than human collagen, which was more than all of the animal collagens on the market. So no need to be buying this waste product to support the animal industry and making money off of you uh, when these plant nutrients 
are so available. Oh my God, a handful of strawberries and, and a few bites of broccoli and you're way over 100% of your vitamin C for the entire day. That's all you need. As, as a matter of fact, obviously polyphenols and beta carotene play an important role. And guess what's in our clean green protein? <laughs> because clean green protein, actually, pull it up on the screen here. Clean green protein is made with lentin, which is a whole food. You're getting all of the nutrition of the plant in it. It's actually 60% whole food. That's why it has 46% of all the beta carotene vitamin A that your body needs. Just one little scoop, half of all the beta carotene that your body needs for your entire day. And you add some strawberries and blueberries and mangoes into a smoothie with it. And you've got all the vitamin C, all the beta carotene, and 69 milligrams of polyphenols. Now, how can it be so much higher in beta carotene and polyphenols than typical plant-based uh, proteins uh, that are, or even whey proteins, which have none, zero, unless they're added, you know, synthetic vitamins dumped into the cheap vitamins. Um, this is from real whole foods. It's naturally occurring in the plant, and that's all that's in there. We do not add a single vitamin or mineral to this. All of that vitamin and mineral nutrition comes from the whole food. You are getting it from real food, real plants, and this is how we can protect and produce endogenously more collagen more effectively than consuming any collagen supplement on the market. And that's why I won't uh, put out a collagen supplement. Look, if I were in this to make money, I would have been riding that surf because it is the fastest growing, one of the hottest supplement sales, collagen and bone broth both. And they're both incomplete proteins, no tryptophan, making you cranky and irritable, aren't as effective as human collagen and aren't even as effective as vitamin C and plant nutrients, beta carotene and polyphenols. Why on earth would anybody waste their money on collagen? And I was walking around Whole Foods the other day, collagen cookies, collagen water, for God's sake, they're putting it in the water. Uh, I mean, it's collagen soups, collagen bread, collagen. They're just taking this waste garbage product and sticking it into everywhere because everybody is hot on, oh, I've got to have collagen because I want to save my skin and look younger and youthful. If you want to save your skin, plants, phytonutrients, polyphenols, beta carotene, all of that, only from plants. And I just showed you, this vitamin C studies blew me away. More effective at producing elastin than uh, collagen more effective at uh, producing collagen type one than even human collagen, which outperformed all the animal collagen. Why would you do that? And it's an incomplete protein. So, you know, there's, there's no excuse for this. This is people just out to make money. I don't do that. I personally want to provide people with the best products that are truly helpful for themselves and not waste money, not support, you know, selling uh, somebody else's garbage to make money on it. That's not fair. It's not right. And I won't do it. That's why I've had so many people uh, ask me, Jeff, why don't you produce a vegan collagen product? And I looked, I honestly looked. Um, but when I found out the true science that plants are far superior and both protecting your collagen so it doesn't degrade to begin with, and also your elastin, but also it using plant nutrients, beta carotene, vitamin C, and polyphenols. You make a smoothie with clean green protein with a bunch of nice good fruits like strawberries and blueberries in it, you're getting lots of nutrients. That's why, look, I, I'm, I'll be, you know, in a year and a half, I'll be 60 years of age. And I'm in the best shape of my life. People say, hey, your skin looks so smooth and you don't have any wrinkles. That's great. 36 years of eating plants. That's what's helping. <laughs> you know, you can go the collagen route. I understand that. People get sold on stuff all the time. I'm not here to sell you on stuff that you don't need. What I want to do is provide the best in nutrition from plants to give you the best opportunity to live your healthiest, best looking life possible. 
I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Please leave your comments or your questions. If you have any more, I can post more science and research for you down in the comments section. And as always, I am looking for, always looking for the absolute best in nutrition. So I'm going to leave you with a couple of nutrition tips on how to really naturally boost your own um, uh, collagen and elastin uh, through healthy choice food choices. So vitamin C, number one, obviously. Strawberries are great. Bell peppers rock the charts. So getting bell peppers into your stir fries, into your sandwiches, into all those things. Bell peppers are one of the highest in vitamin C of everything. Kiwis, another great source of vitamin C. Broccoli, citrus shoots, obviously. Uh, plants that are um, uh, rich in an amino acid called proline. Uh, it's an amino acid that plays a role in collagen production, and you can get it from mushrooms, asparagus, cabbage. Um, glycine is another one that is, plays an important role in collagen production, found in beads, uh, beans, uh, legumes, nuts, and seeds. And same with lysine, same group of foods, beans, nuts, seeds, those sorts of things high-end lysine. So make, if you want to really focus in on those particular ones, or you can just do good old clean green protein, which has also 335 milligrams of tryptophan. So you stay happy, stay producing that number one neurochemical for your happiness, serotonin. That's right. Do foods that make you happy, not make you cranky. <laughs> Why on earth are people consuming this collagen and bone broth is absolutely missing the one essential amino acid that we need for our own happiness. And of course, that's a little bit to me, a little bit of karma. You take away another living being's happiness, you consume that, it's going to lower your happiness. There it is, biochemically, right there in the amino acid profile, zero tryptophan in collagen or uh, bone broth or good old gelatin. They are incomplete proteins, and there is not one uh, incomplete protein in the plant kingdom as far as foods we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope we set the record straight. Um, please you know, if you hear people talking about collagen and which collagen supplement you should take, I know it sounds weird coming from a guy that sells supplements telling you don't bother with collagen. Um, but I'm trying to give you the right information based on the research. There's the studies right in front of you. Vitamin C outperforming um, collagen. And that's human collagen, that which outperformed the uh, animal collagen. So there's there's no real need for that. And what you should do, be doing is focusing on high beta carotene, high polyphenols, high vitamin C, and make sure you're getting enough protein. And you will have the, the nutrients your body needs in order to make its own elastin, collagen, and all of the other proteins that needs to make you healthy, youthful, and healthy skin. Please, again, like this, give me comments if you want, ask any questions, happy to answer them to the best of my ability. And please share if this has been useful information to you. Um, let me check the questions and comments real quick. All right, we don't, I don't seem to have any, um, but if you have any questions, you can, you can throw them down anytime, whether you're watching on uh, Clean Machine Online at YouTube, on Facebook, or on Amazon. See, I got one question on Amazon. I can't even read it so small. Okay, well, you can always just uh, contact us directly at Clean Machine Online. I'll get your answers. Uh, I'll get your questions answered. Oh, I do have one comment here. Um, let's see, new comments. Oh, it's not being... It's not being uh, <laughs> cooperative with me. Okay, sorry about that for not getting to your comments, but I will answer them throughout the day and anytime you post the comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Share if you feel so inclined, and let's get people off these collagen and bone broth that are making them irritable and cranky and not really doing what most people think they're doing. Uh, let's get these plant nutrients in people so that they can live long, healthy, happy, and healthy skin lives. Thanks for thanks for watching.